Hello, uh, this is going to be a super quick crash course on sort of initializing a uh, Blender project with the MJCF exporter. So I have it uh, already installed here, I uh, have a Blender file, it's already saved. Um, <coughs> I need to create a world origin. I would recommend using just a, um, a plain axis empty, so it's inside the cube for now. Um, most of what I work on is sort of a mobile robot, so uh, I will want some kind of ground. Um, so let's make a plane, um, and when we go to the plane, we'll set it as a um, plane type uh, geom uh, with the parent uh, fruit. Uh, we will actually not def delete the default cube. Uh, we will use it as our robot. Um, it's going to be a very large robot. Uh, so this could be, again, a body with uh, linked to root. Um, and you can see that line there as the, the kinematic tree display. Um, that is a uh, experimental feature that's not uh, fully working um, but the graphical rendering of this is actually totally independent from the uh, representation that's used to export. So um, if it breaks, maybe we don't care. Um, so uh, we won't use geometry primitives, so we'll actually uh, look at the mesh. Um, and to show that, well, let's do a subdivide. <coughs> And then, I don't know, maybe pinch in these two corners, just so it looks more interesting. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and make a, another mesh cylinder. Let's scale it and move it around um, like so. And then um, this will be a body. Um, also, just let it use the mesh. Um, parent will be that. Uh, and then use an empty. Uh, I recommend the arrows empty for uh, everything, all the joints and stuff, so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, so this will be a joint. Um, the child body of the joint is this cylinder that we made. So let's use that. Uh, say it's a hinge on Y. And yeah, okay. Um, oh, so sure. so similarly, we can uh, we can add a hinge somewhere here, or not a hinge. We can add like a free joint here, so the whole body of the robot can, can move. Um, so this is the body, and this is the arm. Okay, uh, then uh, if we select our, our root here, um, and we'll call this robot uh, demo2, export as root, um, it's now successful. Um, we can see um, export success here in the terminal. And then if we open up the um, folder that this is in. Um, you can see here's all the, the stuff. Uh, we have body, at arm, there's a hinge empty, there's a free empty, there's our, um, our plane empty, that's our sort of floor geometry. Uh, and then uh, in the mesh STL we have both a cube and a cylinder. These are the, the mesh data names, uh, cube and cylinder still. Um, <coughs> and so, uh, oh geez, do I remember how this goes? Um, uh, no, I want the Alright, 
So there's our there's our thing. We can see it is using the meshes. Uh, we can see this is um, large because uh, yet again I have forgotten that you need to apply the scale. Um, so if we apply the scale, we can just hit export again, uh, and then when we run there, that's what we expect to do. Okay, good. Hopefully this is helpful. Bye.